Hi guys, she right here. This video is going to be a little bit different from my usual videos. Today I'm going to be giving a book review. This book, Life with Pi by Yen Martel, which I read at the recommendation of one of the YouTubers who I follow. Life with Pi is about a 16 year old Indian boy named Pi who is emigrating with his family on a cargo ship from India to Canada. Unfortunately, just over a week after the ship casts off, the boat mysteriously capsizes, leaving Pi the lone survivor. Or should I say, the lone human survivor. Pi is joined on his lifeboat by an injured zebra, an orangutan, a hyena, and a Bengal tiger. I didn't read the back of the book before reading the book itself, as I usually do. Had I, I probably wouldn't have bothered reading the book in the first place. Um, I didn't really know what the book was about, I didn't know what to expect at all. The first quarter of the book describes many significant incidences in the main character's life. These tales are fresh and fascinating to read, but the whole time I was like, where's the plot? Then I finally reached page 100, um, 100 of 356, when the ship sinks. That's when I turned to the back of the book and I'm like, oh, I get it now. So yeah. This book is about Pi's survival at sea with his entourage of zoo animals. The book is written so well that I kept exclaiming to myself, no way this didn't happen. The descriptions of the settings, the events that take place, the emotions, like everything is described so well in such flawless detail that could only be accurately described by somebody who was actually there. But then on the other hand, the story is so incredibly outrageous, this character is way more independent and astute than your average 16 year old. No way this could happen in real life. So that was how I felt while reading Life of Pi and also shortly afterwards when I finished the book. I could not put it down. When I was finished reading it, I gave it to my sister Atara to read. She opened the front cover and was like, oh, how's the author's note? Should I bother reading it? Well, of course I'd skip the author's note. Who actually reads the author's note? Then my other sister Mira tells me that if the author bothers to include a special note in his book that he probably wants the reader to read it. So I proceeded to read the author's note, and I'm glad I did because it kind of resolved my certainty as to the legitimacy of the story. Let me explain. To summarize a six-page author's note, the author, Yen Martel, went to India for vacation, mentioned to some stranger in a cafe that he's a writer, and this stranger pointed him to Pai Patel. Kind of like, boy does he have some story to tell. So this is the story of Pai Patel a real life person. But Pai Patel was lost at sea for over 200 days. There is no doubt that he suffered a lot, including mentally. So any experience that he had could be affected by, you know, his mental state at the time. This book is located in the fiction section of the library. Um, I have no idea what kind of investigation a book has to go through in order to be classified as non-fictional biography. In my opinion, this book is so incredibly outrageous that it seems probable that it really did happen as Mr. Patel remembers it. So to sum up this really long book review, I highly recommend you read this book. I hear they make it into a movie. I don't think that a movie could manage to capture the beauty and eloquence of the writing in the novel. On top of that, there are a total of four conversations in the entire book, and if you ask me, no dialogue makes for boring movie.